Neighborhood news. Some in Southeast Portland's East Moreland neighborhood have had it with crowded houses. They say these huge homes tower above the older, more modest homes that have been there for decades. Cor Harlan went to the city tonight to find out if they can really do anything to stop this. What did you find out, Cor? Jeff, we are at a brand new, beautiful 2,500 square foot home here in the heart of Southeast Portland's East Moreland neighborhood. A beautiful house, and it's for sale. Nice big porch here and everything. But some people who've lived along this street for decades say this house and others going up like it are too big for the neighborhood. They say developers are buying one house in cases, knocking it over, and putting two new houses in its place. This is a Google Street map of what the home at 3725 Southeast Malden used to look like. After the house sold, this is what it looks like now. Two big houses have replaced the one house that was there. And down the street, the modest Eastmoreland home that once stood here is now two big, brand new homes waiting to be sold. And as you can see with those houses, they're towering um, way above the neighbors' houses. Christiana Nelson lives across the street from the two sets of big new houses. Okay. She and others along southeast Malden are concerned that the new houses are so big and they use so much of the lot that they sit on that they don't look or feel as if they fit in with the rest of the neighborhood. You know, before we just saw trees out of there. So now these houses, which are at the maximum envelope, size allowed. They just, they fill every capacity. Christiana and her neighbors have tried to resist big infill projects like the ones on their street with only limited success. A Portland city planner told me this evening that zoning rules allow developers to build big houses on smaller lots if those lots were combined before zoning codes went into effect in the late 1970s. It feels like they were just trying to horn in as much square footage as possible to take advantage of uh, the school districts, I believe, and it just, um, it's just a misfit. The big fear for Calvin Noling and his neighbors going forward is that developers will keep piling bigger and bigger houses into an old neighborhood and ruin the same neighborhood qualities that attracted builders here in the first place. Now, while the folks that live here do have some objections to the scale of these houses, they do give the builder credit for actually meeting with them, responding to some of their concerns here. This house is five foot shorter than it would have been otherwise. The builder also made some changes here to window configurations on the side of the house to address a privacy concern next door here. All of that being said, Jeff and Kelly, neighbors here still think these houses are far too big for their neighborhood. Live in Southeast Portland, Core Harlan, Coin Local 6. All right, Core. We'll